Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? Wishing I had a new marker. Trying to mark the top of this. Okay. So I can cut it off. Well, it's not quite so flat on the top. So I got, got to mark all four sides. You get them to go at an angle. It's too high to reach. You got to do it on the ladder, but you got to get off to move the ladder. And now you're looking into the sun, and oh boy! And now we're going to take it back in there and get the plasma cutter out and cut the top off. Give it a little bit of the shape. Make a top piece to fit in there. Weld it in. Flip it upside down. Do the same thing on the bottom. What are you doing now, Kev? Well, I'm just out there in the sun. I marked it with that red marker. But the marker was dying. So I couldn't really see my line. So now that I've got it back down here, but I have, have sort of an idea of what I wanted, I can come back with a brand new yellow one so I don't mix the two here. Get, you're trying to get red on red where I can see it. Now I'll put a different color on there. This is a little trick you learn when you work by yourself. You want, you want to make an, a curved line of some kind, you want to make a little bit of a contour, and you don't have anybody to hold the other end, put a little C-clamp on it. This is a piece of uh, my TIG wire, TIG welding wire, nice and flexible and bends nice and easy. So I can just trap it up here on the corner, get whatever kind of an arc or shape or you know, inside or outside, whatever kind of curve I want on there, come in and work it. So I think I will. So that'll give me my line this way. So now I just need to finish that out to right there at the edge, because my finger was in the way. I'll roll it over and come back and mark it on the other side. So I got a line to follow with my plasma cutter all the way around. This I probably won't cut at all. I'll just leave this part. I'll just start cutting right in here and just give that a nice little slope down. That way when I mount this straight up on a post, the top won't be flat where it'll catch water. Water will run off. That'll give it a nice little striation down the side. This is actually what they call weathering steel. It's, uh, it's steel with a high copper content. They use it back east a lot where they have a lot more weather. It doesn't really rust so much as it patinas. Once this gets a patina on it, if it gets bumped, that little section will actually start to patina again all by itself once it gets wet. And it will kind of seal itself up. It will be pretty cool when it's done. Tell us a little bit about the piece. Uh... Well, this is, this is the result of my playing with my CAD program. It's called Sachet, because when it's standing upright, it kind of looks like somebody's got a little bit of an attitude going. It's just for fun. Uh, I just wanted to make it, so I did. You'll see it when it's all together and all standing upright. It'll be pretty cool. So let's roll it over. making stuff hollow and using thin gauge metal, I can pick the whole thing up by myself. I don't need, you know, I don't need extra help, I don't need the cranky, I don't need anything like that. So I just put my little C-clamp back on here again, right at the edge where I want my line to be.
Just like that. Okay, I'm going to get back to work. I'll see you guys next time.